everybody. Today is Sunday. As you can see, I'm full of verb and energy. I got so much sleep last night and wow, I really, really, really needed that. I don't know, maybe I think it was just like the week was so busy that I didn't even have time to like shut my brain down. So thankfully I got a tremendous amount of rest last night. I didn't even wake up until like noon today. So um, I'm really happy that I was finally able to get that rest. Also, I think the ashwagandha really helped uh, the adaptogen, as I had mentioned uh, before. Um, it really kind of helps regulate you a little bit better and really help with the stress levels. It helps your body balance itself out. So I feel great. I'm energized. I picked some basil or harvested some basil yesterday. So I'm going to make some pesto. So I've got to run out to the store, grab some pine nuts and parsley. <laughs> and I don't have a food processor. I'm just gonna make it in my blender. My blender has a couple different uh, settings and a couple different types of the thingies that you blend it in. So hopefully it comes out okay. I've, I've used the blender before as like a food processor. I do need to go ahead and buy an actual food processor just because when I make salsas and pestos and any other kind of uh, soups and stuff like that, I would it's better to have a food processor. So, but since I don't, I'm gonna use my blender. I am gonna run out really quickly, get those items. I might pop by Home Depot just to see what kind of seedlings they have, just because I didn't find anything the other day when I went downtown to Stone Brothers. And so I think I'm gonna see what uh, Home Depot has. And I also still forgot to plant those pole beans. And I did notice that I ran out of those seeds. So if I can find some pole beans at Home Depot, I will grab those. I kind of wish I had known that I didn't have those seeds here when I went down to Stone Brothers the other day, just because I, if I'm not gonna get my seeds from True Leaf Market, I would prefer to get them from there. I, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the seed selection at Home Depot, but I don't know, who knows, they might have something good. Anyway, I'm going for a sporty vibe today. As you can see, I've got my sporty and rich hat on and I'm about to put my sambas on. What's so funny about these is that I had these like 20 years ago when I played soccer and it's just, it's so funny how fashion like comes, it's like so cyclical, just comes back around. But I'm gonna go for this. I've got some uh, biker shorts on and just real chill today. I wanna just be able to breeze around and feel really comfortable. So I'm going for this sort of sporty look today. But anyway, just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that. Um, so let's go ahead and hop over to the store, shall we? Okay, so I'm at Home Depot now. I just finished uh, at Wegmans. I got everything I needed there. So I just wanted to quickly stop by Home Depot since it is on the way back home. And I don't know, I'm tempted to buy stuff that I already have in my garden. It's pretty much the same stuff that was at Stone Brothers when we went down there the other day. Everything is a little bit more, I don't know, green here. Um, so, but I've got basil. I'm, I was thinking about maybe getting some garden sage, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that at Crusade a couple years ago. It's not my favorite. Uh, let's have a little bit of a look around, shall we? Ooh, their tomatoes are blooming. Lemongrass, that's super helpful for getting rid of mosquitoes. If you have mosquitoes, put that in your garden. I already have all of the peppers. See, their peppers are coming in just like mine. I would consider getting strawberries but I already have strawberries, but my strawberries, I want more. <laughs> That's basically what it is. The tomatoes look really, really good. And then we've got some citronella down here. Also great for getting rid of mosquitoes. Let's see what we have over here. Basil, basil, parsley. I just picked that up. I should go ahead and just buy this. I grew parsley a couple years ago, but I just didn't this year. I was kind of lazy this year when, with gardening. Ooh, their jalapenos are coming in nicely. Beautiful flowers. 
So pretty. literally a bee's favorite place right here. Home Depot is where, to, if you're a bee, come to Home Depot because I mean, all your friends are here and they're just having the best time ever. Anyway, I just got distracted on the way inside. Gonna go in now and get some seeds. section. Let's find some beans, shall we? So I could do the big kahuna or I could do the Kentucky Wonder. I'm thinking actually the Kentucky Wonder. Let's just make sure these are pole beans. In fact, pole snap. Perfect. Yeah, I think these are them. I already have those. Hmm, lima beans. I do need some more carrots as well. Ooh, should I wait to grow carrots a little bit later? We're gonna go with these. Okay, so I just finished making the pesto. 
As you saw, I had to use my blender because I don't have a food processor at the moment, which is a little bit unfortunate because I was hoping that the pine nuts would blend a little bit more, but luckily the basil blended, um, the, the basil and the parsley and the garlic blended perfectly. So that's really all that matters. And sometimes having that kind of crunchy, pine nutty taste on um, your sauce or you know in your sauce and um, on your pasta is kind of nice. So and we're planning to use this on our angel hair tonight. So we're gonna do angel hair with pesto and possibly some chicken. So not sure, but it smells delicious. And the coolest part about this is that I found an empty pesto sauce container from Wegman. So I went ahead and filled it up. It filled up perfectly. So I will make sure to link this particular recipe in the description box because if you have containers like this these small um i don't know how many ounces this is let's see uh this looks like 6.7 ounces so if you have like a six ounce glass or seven ounce uh empty container this will fill up perfectly with the recipe that i used so anyway i think i'm gonna get outside check on some plants i'm gonna stick in those pole beans that i got at home depot and then in a couple hours, it should be uh, dinner time, and we're gonna go ahead and make our, our pesto pasta. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. found hanging out in the okra. Hello, little. What a perfect place for you. Just so you see the size. This is my hand. He's teeny, teeny, tiny, very cute. And there's the okra flower that we saw this morning and it has already closed up, which means a fruit should be coming on pretty soon. And pesto for dinner with a little garnish of basil. And James cooked some chicken, which I will add into my pasta shortly. And we've got some toasted bread. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, start of the week, and we ran out of creamer, so I've got to go I should go to the store to get some creamer, but I am not in the mood, so I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a green tea. And I don't know, I wish there was a different coffee shop that was a little bit closer to me that had really good green tea. I honestly think Starbucks has the best green tea and I've tried a lot of them. And um, so yeah, so, but I don't know, I love, the green tea from Starbucks, but I would prefer not to support such a large corporate business, if that makes sense. So I am looking for, I don't know, a green tea that I can make at home, a matcha in particular. Uh, I like Sencha as well. Sencha is excellent, but matcha's matcha is like my go-to and Trader Joe's has a really good matcha as well but there's too much sugar in it and I like my matcha to taste a little bit more grassy <laughs> than most I think I'm such a nature person that like whenever I eat something I tend to eat it with the full flavor and not really add any extra flavors to it so my husband's always like James is always like it tastes like grass <laughs> or you eat like a rabbit <laughs> but hey, whatever. <laughs> it's good for you, right? It's good for me. But anyway, okay, I gotta come turn my uh, AC back on. 
but I hope you guys can't hear that in the background, but um, if so, I'll, I'll check when I do the edits, but um, let's see, what do I have going on today? I, not much actually, today's a bit of a slow day. I need to sort of build my week up and I do have some emails I need to get to. I do have uh, a couple a couple things that need um, my attention when I get back home. And I'm thinking about going on a walk this afternoon. So I might take you guys along with me. We have this beautiful nature trail uh, near our house and it goes around the lake. So we'll see, maybe James will come with me, but if he doesn't wanna come with me, I will go by myself. But um, I just haven't <clears throat> wanted to get outside and run or do anything outside because it's been like a hundred degrees. Like right now it's 94 and it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> like, like this is insane. Um, so it's just, you know, when it's so hot and in North Carolina, our, our temperature, our weather is very muggy, very, uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air because we have so many trees. So not only it, it's not only just hot, it's humid too. It's like a rainforest without the misty rain part. So it's like, it's, it, yeah, sometimes it can be just like super unbearable. You go outside for like two minutes and then suddenly your hair's all frizzed up <laughs> or who was that? Did I know that person? Um, yeah, you go outside for two minutes and either your hair is frizzed up and you're sweating um, or you're super, dehy super dehydrated and you need to um, drink a gallon of water. So anyway, I've made it to Starbucks, but uh, so I'm going to run inside. But um, yeah, so I might go on a walk a little bit later and I will take you guys with me and I'll catch you, catch you in a bit. Let's see, I've got about an hour and a half before James gets home, so hopefully I can get out there. I'm hoping that it's not so hot anymore. It is after five o'clock, so we'll see. I've got my long sleeve a turn -A top on. Uh, I love this, it's very lightweight. I know you're thinking like, why is she wearing a long sleeve shirt in the middle of the summer? But um, it's actually super lightweight and it uh, will be great because I'm going to be walking kind of in a wooded area. So in case, you know, bugs. But uh, anyway, I'm going to finish putting my shoes on and get out there. One of the coolest things about my neighborhood is we've got this like really neat bamboo right back here. I just kind of blow past it, but it just, uh, it's growing right there. So it's super neat. I love seeing that on my walks, but it's having a nice casual walk through the neighborhood.
here. Don't step on these sort of stumps. Ooh, what's that? Oh, they're leaves from the tree. I love these like patterns in the from the trees. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Something just fell. Did you guys hear that? A whole branch literally just fell as I walked past it. Oh my god. That's so wild. Okay, I made it out of the trail. I'm going to head back home and I'll see you guys later. Charlotte's back, so I grabbed some arugula. Say hello. Hey Charlotte. You may or may not like this. Arugula, okay? Right? Okay, I'll be right back. I don't have apples. Come back tomorrow, okay? You don't want the arugula. Just come back tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. I just washed my hair, so I'm about to dry it and head off to a meeting. I've got a really exciting day today, actually. Well, I've got an exciting meeting that I'm about to go to and uh, I will be able to share with you some of this, uh, some of my meetings in a few months. So I can't sort of relay anything right now because a lot of stuff I'm working on, but I just wanted to say good morning. I am about to hurry up and get out of here. And when I get back, I will uh, see you again. <laughs> so I'll see you shortly. Good afternoon. I just got back from my meeting and it was a really incredible meeting and I'm not going to tease you on it, uh, but it is something that I have to kind of keep confidential for a few months. I am working on something really amazing and uh, it will probably take uh, till the end of the year before I'm actually able to reveal what it is that I'm working on. So I'll, I won't tease you on it anymore. I won't tell you any more about my meetings, but uh, Anyway, I wanted to, um, as you see, actually, <laughs> my hair is straight uh, from this morning. My hair was it's still in its curly state, but I wanted to just bring to your attention a couple products that I use on my hair. Uh, just really quickly, this shampoo bar I have been using for a few years, or at least the brand I've been using for a few years, and I'm really impressed with this brand. It's called Viore, and it was started um, or founded by... Uh, I actually don't know the names of the founders, but basically what, what they did is they traveled to this place. I want to say it's in China. If I'm incorrect, I will put a little, um, you know, correction on the screen. But so the founders of Viori traveled to this village and they met with these women called the Red Yao Women. And the Red Yao Women are renowned for their long black hair. And what's really impressive about this is that 
the women are all older or a lot of the women are, are older and they have no gray, their hair is, you know, black and it's down to their feet. And all the women in the village basically have this long hair. So the founders, you know, kind of wanted to find out the process of how these women are able to have such long hair and keep it in such great health. And what they found is that these women um, use a particular rice. It's called long shen rice. And what they do is they ferment the rice and uh, they basically prepare like a tincture in a sense, or like a kind of uh, um, water based rice solution. And uh, they rinse their hair in this rice. And so anyway, so they've created these little shampoo bars. So the founders of the uh, company created their brand out, you know, basically from these Red Yell women. And I'm pretty sure the Red Yell women are the ones that prepare and create the shampoo bars. So anyway, so I, like I said, I've been using this brand for a few years now. It's really fantastic. It kind of, I kind of was drawn to this brand because uh, I don't, I'm not sure how many of you remember, or you know, hair, hair community girls uh, out there, people out there. Um, in, I don't know, maybe like 2018 or so, there was this craze about, you know, rice water shampoo treatments or rice water treatments, I should say. And everyone was doing, everyone was using rice water on their hair. And I was as well. The problem, however, that a lot of people ran into is that, you know, if you use rice water too frequently on your hair, you actually can break your hair off. And the reason for that is because rice water puts a lot of protein into your hair and your hair really needs a proper moisture and protein balance. So the amazing part about this brand is that the women in this uh, village, they know how to properly kind of balance that out. So they have, in addition to the shampoo bars, they have uh, conditioner bars as well. And there is moisture in these, in these shampoo bars. Um, and, uh, along with the, the rice water. So there's a great balance there. You know, hair health is super important. A lot of people, um, don't realize that scalp health is really what contributes to your hair health as well. Also maintaining your hair, um, while it grows is really important. So, you know, really putting the right products on your hair is super important. So I always stay away from any products that might have any sulfates or phytholates, that word that I can't pronounce. Um, I always stay away from products that have that. So, you know, using brands that use organic uh, products or very small formulas is really incredible. And uh, so anyway, so, I use their shampoo bars and their conditioner bars. I'll show you really quickly what the shampoo, what this shampoo bar is. Now this one is unique. It has uh, tea tree oil in it um, or tea tree and mint in it, which I personally love just because tea tree is great for, uh, excellent for scalp health and hair growth. But this particular bar is really for dull and oily hair. I tend to have drier hair, um, especially in the winter time, but um, I like this just because it has a tea tree in it. But this is what the bar looks like. And uh, it's super cute. I love this. If you can see, it's got like a cute little pattern on it as well. Uh, so yeah, I think that's so, so neat. But basically you just kind of, once you wet your hair, you just kind of massage it into your scalp, um, get it all lathered up. It usually for me takes uh, about two or three lathers before I can, uh, or two or three like kind of rinses before I get the proper lather in my hair. Um, but I do that and I really focus on my scalp. Um, usually on the third time around, I'll kind of go down the length of my hair just to make sure I get any, you know, excess oil that may have come out, making sure not to strip my actual hair of its oils. And that's what a lot of people don't realize when they're taking care of their hair is, um, they think that they need to shampoo all the way down the length of their hair. And then they're wondering why their hair is breaking off. You know, your hair wants to keep those natural oils in, in it. And uh, actually that's one of the reasons why I straighten my hair rather than keep it in its natural state, like you saw uh, a little bit earlier. But when I straighten my hair, the natural oils in my scalp are able to travel down the length of my hair a lot easier than they will when it's in its curly state. And the reason for that is because, you know, the oils can't really travel down curls very well. So oftentimes if I keep my hair in its curly state, it ends up getting really, really dry and really brittle and then is um, prone to, to breakage. So I like to make sure to uh, keep it in its straight form. <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, so, uh, but anyway, I use the shampoo bar and sometimes the conditioner bar, but right now I've been using this uh, Curls leave-in conditioner. 
I love this, it's great. It's really meant for curly girls, which I am, but I just straighten my hair. But I like it because it's a leave-in and I like it because it's got uh, organic blueberry, chamomile, and coconut oil. So you know I'm all about my natural products. But I put this in my hair as a leave-in um, right after I wash my hair. And then lastly, I wanted to bring this to your attention as well. It's a hair oil from a brand called Creason. And this brand was started by the family. They're called the Selva family, I think is their name. And they're the sweetest, cutest little family. All the women, all the girls have like super, super long hair and they're just the cutest. Um, but basically this oil is just kind of an all-purpose oil for your hair. It's got 55 vital oils within it, including, I shall read the list because the list is very long if you can see. Um, but it's got, you know, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil. Then you've got hemp seed oil, you've got moringa, neem, orange oil, peppermint oil, tea tree, hazelnut oil, rice bran, baobab oil. And then there's a few on here that I can't pronounce, like un, unguruhul <laughs> oil. I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look it up. But um, yeah, and just a bunch, like I said, 55. But this is fantastic. I always put this on my hair after I straighten it. I just put it on my ends just to sort of like keep that uh, moisture locked in. And then I also will put it on um, the top of my hair to tame my flyaways, um, which I have a few. Usually I get them after I um, straighten my hair. And it is so hot. It's like still in the you know, upper 90s into the hundreds. So my hair is like already starting to freeze up. So I'm gonna clip it up in a minute. But uh, but yeah, just wanted to uh, kind of mention my favorite hair care products. Um, I'm all about natural products and I will continue to bring natural products to your attention uh, just because a lot of these brands are smaller brands and I would prefer to support the smaller brands versus the larger big conglomerates. So anyway, uh, that's my hair spiel. I, oh, I went to Wegmans and I picked up some apples for uh, Charlotte. So hopefully she comes back today. And um, yeah, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna get out in the garden. I do need to, you know, kind of check on a few things, but I did water pretty deeply yesterday. So I don't think I need to get out there and do any watering today. And um, yeah, if anything else comes up, I'll let you know, but otherwise I'll see you guys later. Really quickly, here's my look for today. I figured this sort of like setup is a little bit better for me to kind of show my whole outfit, but I'll have to figure out a way to get you, you know, maybe I'll just come down actually. Bear with me there. Let's see, can you see my whole, I have to come all the way back. Hello there, there we go. So of course, you know, my tailored black shorts and my and my belt that I've been wearing like every other day. And this top is from Banana Republic, actually. Uh, let me come closer. This top is from Banana Republic and I really love it just because like, I'll be able to wear it into the winter time. I can just kind of throw it under a sweater. Um, but you guys know I love this like kind of black and white, super simple kind of vibe. Um, and then of course I've got my stout uh, flats on and I'm, you know, a lot of my outfits I've noticed are very similar and uh, which is, you know, great um, because I get to rewear a lot of my clothes. And that was really the idea for when I was sort of working on my capsule wardrobe. So I highly recommend having a pair of black tailored shorts in your wardrobe, as well as like a white um, kind of crisp top, whether it's short sleeve, long sleeve or sleeveless like this one. Just because like, you know, pieces like these, uh, you'll have forever. Like a white tailored shirt will literally never go out of style. Black tailored shorts will never go out of style. And of course, as you guys see in the back, I've got my Bambian bag, which is really my bag for the summer. I do have other purses that I kind of interchange and I will I will make sure to bring them on, um, on the channel just because I don't want you guys to think that I'm only wearing that bag because I do have other bags. But I'm really into just sort of like, having staple pieces in my wardrobe and re-wearing often different different pieces and mixing and matching. And that's the benefits of having like separates like these. So I will link all of this below. Uh, and um, yeah, I thought I'd make some tea really quickly. So I'm going to be making the Harney and Sons Paris tea. And this is 
my very favorite tea. The first time I had it was um, a few years ago, actually. And uh, it is amazing. Um, comes into these little packets and uh, it's called Paris. And it's got like a very um, caramelly, nutty kind of flavor. It's so good. I don't even need to put honey in, in the tea, but I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup and get to the rest of the afternoon. Really quickly, just wanted to show you, looks like the tomato is getting a little bit more ripe. I had to pick a couple of the others as well. I had to pull this one off just because I was really nervous about um, getting worms and I may have pulled it a little too soon because this guy's a little small, but I would so much rather have a small tomato than a no tomato. <laughs> so, uh, so I pulled it off off the vine soon. And of course, you know, you guys see down here my eggshells, which I need to add up above. So I'll keep you updated on this as well. Okay, so I just made myself some tea and got into my comfy clothes, as you can see. I'm in my little monochrome kind of look. Made my Harney Incense tea right here. And I had a knock on the door and I got a package. So I figured I could come on here and get out of there, you squirrel. <laughs> squirrel, go. Squirrels are always in my pots. Um, yeah, so I figured I'd open my package with you guys. Um, it is from Max Mara. I ordered some linen pants uh, a little while ago, actually. They took a, a while to get here. So let's go ahead and unbox, shall we? Let me make some space on my desk over here. I was literally just in the middle of making, um, just in the middle of sending some emails and I got it. So let's see. I'm so excited. This is so cute, this little teddy bear. I think that's their little brand logo. But okay. And Ooh, Max Mara. them I like them they're linen great material pockets yeah these are really cute I like that they don't really touch the ground just because you know often you can wear pants that like scrape the ground and then they get dirty so these are perfect I can just kind of throw these on and go run errands I love it these are so great so again, the brand is, uh, I want to say Weekend Max Mara. So the box is Max Mara, but I think this is their, like, it is, it's Weekend Max Mara. Um, this is their a little bit more uh, affordable kind of price range for their clothes. But um, these pants are fantastic. I love them so much. And I will be wearing them. Let's see what they look like with the Bambi okay you guys I'm ready to go bye <laughs> just kidding um yeah these are great so I will make sure to link these below they might still be available um they I did buy them like I said a little while ago so they may either be sold out or they might be on sale linen and I feel like I'll just have these forever so yeah what an exciting surprise